Allah Almighty says that certain things have been beautified for man as a test. So money is one of them, wealth, where no matter how much humankind has, humankind would always want to have more. But do you know what we're taught? There is no point in having wealth that comes without blessing. Wealth that is a punishment from the Almighty. There is no point of having so much when it comes with you having lost your connection with the Almighty or no happiness, no contentment, no good health. We need enough that we can survive, perhaps lead a relatively comfortable life, reach out to others using the same wealth and at the same time, receive the blessings of the Almighty. We want goodness, happiness, contentment, whatever else, lovely families. We would like a beautiful, cozy home where as we think of going back home, already the heart is calm. Not a home where you think about it and you don't even want to go anywhere near or as soon as you get in, you're totally distressed. That's not a home. That is perhaps a punishment from Allah. Perhaps it is the snatching away of blessings to say the least. We need to do something about it to earn the blessings. So how would we be able to earn wealth and sustenance and at the same time ensure that it's coming with the blessings of the Almighty? Well, here goes. Point number one, your five daily prayers. No matter what, if you have fulfilled those five daily prayers on a daily basis, rest assured the wealth you're going to get would be filled with blessings and goodness on condition that you've also taken care of a few other things. But that is one of the starting points. Without that, there is no chance you're going to be having blessings in your wealth. And in fact, Allah Almighty speaks about this beautiful, beautiful uh, verse in Surah, uh, Surah Taha, right at the end. Allah says, وَأْمُرْ أَهْلَكَ بِالصَّلَاةِ وَاسْطَبِرْ عَلَيْهَا Instruct your family or your, your relatives, you know, your family members, instruct your family members to fulfill and establish prayer and bear patience upon it. Upon what? Upon the fulfillment of the prayer and the continuous reminder to your family members in a beautiful way to pray. Here, Surah Taha, Allah Almighty says, La nas'aluka rizqa. We are not asking you to sustain us or for sustenance. We are not asking you sustenance. Nahnu narzukuk. We will actually sustain you. We will provide for you. Nahnu narzukuka. We will give you sustenance. What do you want? You want wealth. You want so much more. You want your contentment, your happiness, whatever else. We will give it to you. As a result of what? As a result of you bearing patience upon prayer and instructing your family to pray.